Hi and welcome to Themic. In this short video, we will take a look at the natural frequencies of multiple degree of freedom systems. How many natural frequencies we can find for such systems, how to calculate them using MATLAB or Python, and what is their physical meaning. By the end of this video, we expect you to be capable of answering these questions for any multiple degree of freedom system that you encounter. But more specifically, we expect you to be able to make these calculations in the blink of an eye. Let's do it. This is straightforward. Multiple degree of freedom system, multiple natural frequencies. How many natural frequencies? As many degrees of freedom there are in the system. Simple, right? Although this is a pretty easy concept, let's start with a much simpler situation. To illustrate this, let's bring in our friend the spring mass system, which happens to have one degree of freedom. At the beginning, and with no intervention, our system is in equilibrium that is static. Now if we wanted to set the system in vibration, we just need to displace the mass slightly from its equilibrium position and then release it. The system will vibrate and it is highly possible that we will find that this vibration is not harmonic. Now we haven't done much here. We have just moved the mass in the only possible degree of freedom, which set the system to vibrate. Here comes the interesting part. There is one special amount of displacement that will cause harmonic vibrations. Awesome, right? The special initial displacement is called mode shape, and the resultant frequency of vibration for the special initial displacement is called natural frequency. You see that intuitively, you can assume that as the harmonic vibration is caused by the displacement in our only degree of freedom, then when in presence of several degrees of freedom, we will have several possible initial displacements that will cause several natural frequencies. As mentioned at the beginning, we will have as many natural frequencies as degrees of freedom. Without noticing, we have killed two birds with one stone, metaphorically. I have just defined in a very practical and simple way, once again, what a natural frequency is, what a mode shape is, and what's their physical meaning. Well, it was three birds with one stone. Now calculating the natural frequencies is also easy, at least on a computer. The way to know the natural frequencies of a multiple degree of freedom system and their corresponding mode shapes is calculating the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the system. Don't worry, I said the video would be short. We have these two monsters covered in another video. Fortunately, software such as MATLAB and Python, among others, have built-in functions that allow to calculate these parameters in the blink of an eye. You see, as I promised, but, there is always a but. You need to have the equation of motion of the system in matrix form. More specifically, we have to know the mass, stiffness, and damping, and all of these in matrix form. Then a simple command will give us the answer. For example, considering our friend the spring mass system, it would be enough to write the equation VD equals EIGKM where V and D are results of the MATLAB function representing the mode shapes and the square of the natural frequency, respectively. K, the stiffness matrix of the systems, and finally M, the mass matrix. Finally, as we wanted to know the frequency, we just need to take the square root of the given result in D. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? In Python, the syntax is quite close to MATLAB. Actually, it's the same. So it's up to you which one to use. This has been a fun video. It's amazing how a concept that might be thought of as a difficult one can be explained so simply and accurately. Hopefully, you will now carry this explanation with you, show off a little bit with your friends, and we also hope to have motivated you to read more about the subject. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next topics we have for you.